17. We had nine finalists, two honorable mentions, 12 merit awards to the National Young Arts Foundation. Five of the finalists of the National Young Arts Foundation were named as candidates in the arts for the United States Presidential Scholars Program, with one as a 2015 U.S. Presidential Scholar. National Scholars Art and Writing Awards, Dreyfus earned eight gold medals, 21 silver medals, two silver medals with distinction, and one American Vision Medal. We had six finalists in the 2015 competition for National Merit Scholarships, three finalists in the 2015 competition for National Achievement Scholarships, one Posse winner, and the Muse students earned a Columbia Scholastic Press Association gold crown in the hybrid category, which is a combination of print magazine and website. One senior was selected for the United States Senate Youth Program in Washington, D.C. Three Arts for Life winners, one National Merit Northwestern University Scholarship, 90 Academic Honors Diplomas, and 184 Scholar Designation Diplomas. And just the other night, on Wednesday night, we had two first place Pathfinder winners in vocal music and literature, two second place winners, drama and math, one third place winner, communications, and two fourth place winners, forensic speak and academic excellence. And for the fourth year, we continue to be a designation of arts achieved model school. Congratulations, students.
vocal, Miss Virginia Mims, to the stage to perform Juliet's waltz song from Romeo and Juliet with the Dreyfus Philharmonic Orchestra and guest director, Miss Arlene Sparks.
just as we are gathered here this afternoon to fold up a chapter of our lives. Bear with us, our English skills are very rusty since we haven't taken an English class in a couple of years, so our metaphors have suffered. <laughs> After sticking together through middle school and high school, we've somehow made it here, today, to the iconic third rounds with all of you. Congrats, class of 2015, on finishing all of your FLBS. <laughs> At the end of the summer, we will both be heading to the West Coast, Best Coast, to attend colleges in California. Since they are currently experiencing a severe drought, and Florida is notorious for its humidity, Jimena and I have been trying to collect as much of the water here as possible to take with us. <laughs> Unfortunately, our experiments did not go as planned, and we'd like to personally apologize for the flooding of Building 1. <laughs> Here. 
We know the class of 2015 is an intelligent, talented, and accomplished group of people. Our classmates have been accepted to incredible colleges and universities for both the arts and the academics, and have earned top awards in every area during their time at Dreyfus. But we really don't need to tell you this. The class of 2015 already knows how amazing it is. In fact, if any of you have any last minute superlative nominations, please hand them to Danae. We know you're not actually trying to nominate yourself. You're just saying. <laughs> Our class page was truly one to remember. I think we're going to have to all spend a nice long time in the sun this summer because we've all developed a vitamin D deficiency from all the shade on that Facebook page. <laughs> we apologize to our fellow seniors who either have to take the micro exam this morning or who will have to summon the motivation to come back to school next week for the makeup exam. God bless you. <laughs> but look on the bright side. After that last AP, you'll finally be able to celebrate no longer having any high school obligations. Now, show us a four if you're ready to graduate, a three if you're somewhat ready, a two if you're not really ready, and a one if you're definitely not ready to graduate. Good. Good. We also have something else that we're celebrating today. For the first time in over 10 years, we have two girls standing up here as Val and Sal. In a school with a notoriously high girl-to-boy ratio, it was especially important to us to break the trend of boys always being at the top academically. It feels great to start our time as adults having, bro having broken a gender-related barrier. And we hope that the two of us, as well as the rest of the class of 2015, will continue breaking barriers on every front. For Jackie and I, it was important to show that you can excel in math, science, and engineering while wearing a frilly pink dress and lipstick to match. <laughs> Finally, we have a list of people who we want to mention. We begin with our parents and our siblings, the people who have stood by us through every step of our journey to this stage. We'd also like to thank the people who became like a family to us, not by blood, but through the time that we spent with them. These people include our friends and classmates in the class of 2015, as well as the teachers who have guided us and taught us. Here with us today, we have teachers who we both had in elementary and middle school. And, of course, the teachers and faculty who have been there for us these past four years. We want to give a shout-out to the, the eternally sassy LVR. She's very, very sassy. <laughs> whose passion for art history is simply infectious. We'd also like to thank Mr. Bauer for always brightening our day and, rem and reminding us to do the right thing. <laughs> I personally want to thank him for helping so much with all things considered. More Bauer to you. We'd like to thank Mr. Steven Anand, who helped us by forcing us to follow through with science fair even when we really, really wanted to quit. We want to give a shout out to Officer O for being such a great policeman. And, and for never failing to greet us with a smile when we were late to school again. And I'd like to thank Ms. Sherry Little for everything she's done for the bowling team this year and every year. We'd also like to thank Ms. Lynn Berryman for having to deal with the frantic seniors and her tireless efforts in helping to keep the school running. On behalf of both of us, we're giving a special shout out to Ms. Olive Bryan, <laughs> who taught us her subject better than we thought possible and who was always there for us when we needed to talk. We hope our graduation speech has lived up to that of Elle Woods. We are so thankful for all of these people and more to lean on. Just like it takes a village to raise a child, it takes a community to raise a group of 301 graduates. None of us got here alone, and we have to be grateful to those who have helped us along the way.
Jimena, and I'm your salutatorian. I'm also the first communications major to be up here in a long time. So, <laughs> so for Ms. Weber and the debate team as a whole, I'm going to do my best to speak slowly and not fidget too much. And for Mr. Moore and the entire MUSE staff, I hope I've omitted all my needless words. I'm so glad to be able to share this moment with my department and my childhood friend. I know a lot of people think that Jackie and I were really competitive in terms of grades and such, but that's absolutely not true. We did nothing but support each other. In fact, Jackie told me I should write this next self-encouraging bit. <clears throat> HPA is just a number. I am just as intelligent as Jackie. And if I had spent less time correcting people who mispronounced my name, I would have had more time for APs. <laughs> so now that we're done clearing up rumors, it's time for me to be inspiring. According to all the past Val and Sal speeches that I read, this mostly means quoting a lot of Thoreau and Emerson. But I thought it'd be better to quote some people who are more in touch with us and our personal experiences. People who have felt the pleasure and pain of dealing with us every day. I'm referring, of course, to our teachers. For example, Miss Canoe always knew how to give a good discussion and then bring us back to the ranch. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Ruth provided us with many great tips about the semester abroad in France that every single one of us will be taking. <laughs> Mr. Storr helped us, provide, helped us compile a useful list of things that are both shocking and appalling. <laughs> and Miss J who left us with enough wisdom to last a thousand years, said that falling down is a part of life, but getting back up is living. All of these are priceless pieces of advice that we were all lucky enough to hear almost on the daily. And now I have to follow this act and give you some priceless advice of my own that you'll take with you as you become adults. Now, I wasn't really sure how to go about this since I'm not even 18 yet. <laughs> Kaylee Rubin and I are actually 17 years and 364 days old. So, so I just made a list of the non-academic lessons that we all got at Dreyfus and figured that should be enough to get us through the real world. Okay, so number one on my list is make sure the bubbles on your Scantron are always nice and dark. <laughs> number two is always remember to take the bathroom pass with you when you have to go. Number three is always use your finger scale to quantify your level of understanding. And I'm sure we'll all figure out how to do the small stuff like pay taxes on our own. Finally, I have to give a clever quip about our generation as a whole. You know how we hear a lot about millennials and how much they're ruining the world? Well, we actually fall into the next group of youngsters, Generation Z, born between the mid-90s and the early 2000s. Some articles I found call us screen addicts with the attention span of a gnat, which is offensive, <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> I'm almost finished, I promise. But despite these outrageous insults, the big people still have hope for us, calling us Generation Katniss. Apparently, we're also independent, curious, and driven, with the potential to save the world and fix previous generations' mistakes. Personally, I think the students in this room have shown that we are definitely up for the challenge. Despite hitting a few snags with online opinion articles and such, we have shown that we can contribute meaningfully to our community, share our talents in ways that help and inspire others, and that we can come together as a family during difficult times. And there's no rule that says that we can't change the world while showing impressive class spirit, designing popular geotags, and singing along to Taylor Swift.
Hi, I'm Jackie, and I'm your valedictorian. Now, I know I'm supposed to provide some kind of sage advice while I'm up here, but I'm only 18. I don't even have my driver's license yet. And the only major life decision I've made on my own so far is where to attend college. My life, like many of yours, is just beginning. Any wisdom I have is based solely upon the years I've lived. So what I will do is recall an anecdote. Back when my older sister was graduating high school, her commencement ceremony happened to fall on the same day as my fifth grade trip to SeaWorld. As an 11-year-old, my decision between which event to attend was not hard. Of course, I chose to go see Shambu over the graduation. So I'd like to thank you, Annie, for not deciding to go to SeaWorld today. I now regret my decision, because I would not be able to attend another of our graduation ceremonies until this past Saturday. At our medical school commencement, I found one speaker to have said something especially profound. He told the graduates to remember the dash. Now what is the dash? Don't worry, I'm not referring to the football team. It's something we, nearly, we see nearly every day, but take for granted. You know that dash we write in between a set of years? like 2014-2015, that dash is important. It symbolizes all that occurred between those two years, like the contents of a book. For many of us, our bookends are the years 2011 and 2015. We came in as wide-eyed wide -eyed freshmen, lost on a giant campus and fearful of upperclassmen. We learned how to navigate the campus and got through our first pep rally, sort of. <laughs> we survived the apocalypse, and became upperclassmen, worn out by standardized testing and an early onset of senioritis. Mm -hmm. We faced the terrors of Common App, the college application process, and auditioning, with the worst perhaps being the waiting. As a class, we've shared great triumphs as well as great tragedy, with the loss of Ted Orama, Chris Marshall, Miss J, the class of 2016's Jackie Berman, and our very own Alex Berman, who would be graduating with us today. But we're lucky to have our family, those blood-related and not, to help us through the hard times. I believe that during our time here, we've all become close friends with teachers or other friends who have been a support system for us. Personally, I'm thankful for the piano department family. I'm so proud to be representing them today and carrying on the tradition of piano majors being up on this stage. What we each remember from these past four years will be different, of course, but what's important to remember is that we do. We now leave the much more fenced-in gates of Dreyfus as much different people than the ones we came in as. That dash signifies our transformation into young adults. See, wasn't that profound? I wish I could say I came up with that metaphor, but I give credit when it's due. After all, if I've learned anything from Dreyfus, it's academic integrity. But if you just bear with me, I'd like to extend upon this punctuation metaphor. In addition to the dash, I'd like for you to remember the indentation. You know that space before the first word of a new paragraph? That space represents a pause, a moment for you to reflect on all that has been said before and all that will be said after. In this moment, we anticipate the future ahead of us, however unclear, yet our past is what prepares us. Our past is what gives us the strength and foundation to be ready for whatever our future holds. I think we're extremely fortunate to have Dreyfus as part of our past. When we leave these doors today, we are no longer seniors, but graduates, Dreyfus alumni. As we spread out across the country and the world, I hope we don't forget where we came from. I hope we can use our shared experiences and love for the arts to make this world a slightly better place. So class of 2015, Remember the dash, and remember to indent. Remember the people, the family who have brought you here today. There's no place that we'd rather be than here, celebrating with you guys.
pass and turning of the tassel. At this time, please move your tassel from the right side of your mortarboard to the left side. Please remain standing. For the end of high school has come. You carry the hopes and dreams of everyone here today. And now, by the power of the school board of Palm Beach County is vested in me, I pronounce you graduates of Dreyfus School of the Arts. Please stand.